What's going on guys? It's Big Biggin and today I got a nice 30 and 7. I think it's 30 and 7 um gameplay, but uh as usual, when I'm doing a Call of Duty video, I'm actually not really talking about the gameplay, but you can go ahead and watch that if you want. What I'm actually going to talk about is the next Call of Duty and how I feel about it. So, the next Call of Duty which does not have a confirmed name that we thought would be Call of Duty Ghost 2 is set in space and I am not a huge fan of that actually um actually so much so that I probably will not be picking up that game and I just really haven't liked the way or the direction that Call of Duty has been going the last few years um I didn't even really get Ghost one due to the fact that i didn't like my warfare 3 and you know infinity ward creates all of those the like, my warfare 3 my warfare 2 you know so on and so forth um and obviously the next game and that's about the two dangerous combos i just i don't first off i don't understand how you could possibly shoot a gun in space like in order for you to shoot a gun you're gonna have at least a little bit of combustion in order to shoot the gun so I'm guessing that these guns like either there's going to be air in space which makes no sense or there's going to be some like they're not going to be like normal guns and so I don't like that too much and then I really started thinking about it and I didn't even really like the direction that Black Ops 3 is going really because with these crypto keys, I've been trying for at least like two months to try to pick up like a new weapon without actually paying for it. And at this point, I have like no success. <laughs> and I think that that's just a pay to win model. Like it, it's not really pay to win, but it's just like the Marshall 12s is like, I believe that's the best pistol in the game. It's, it's good as the shotguns in this game, and you can also dual wield them and make them uh, a pretty awesome weapon. And like, you can use those for close, close quarters combat. Anyways, uh, if it's set in space, it would just like add on to like stuff I already didn't like. For instance, in Advanced Warfare, I believe they added, um, boost jumping and like it was so quick and I just I never really liked that and then they brought in a black ops 3 and I just feel like as soon as they put boost jumping into call of duty I instantaneously did not like that because it became a different method almost an unrealistic um, method for evading bullets like imagine this in real war where you're shooting at someone and someone jumps up in the air like and they're like wide open with no cover whatsoever it that would not be to your to your advantage and the only way that this is like even allowable is because of the fact that when you aim down sight in call of duty you aim slower so when you boost jump and you're aiming like to pull upwards would take forever but in real life you could pull up so much quicker than that and still shoot them so I just don't see why that would ever be a, a good method in Call of Duty. And then, if this is in space, there would have to be zero gravity, right? At least that would make sense. So, or at least some spots where there's zero gravity. So now you got people wall running around with like zero gravity jumps just floating around. It makes no sense. I don't like it. And I don't like how we have to pay for so much. The season pass isn't enough for them anymore. So you have to pay for their DLC. So, I don't know. I guess this might be my last Call of Duty. At least for some time. I definitely will not be picking up the Space Call of Duty. Granted, I, I know it's confirmed. But I don't know if, um, you know, the Sledgehammer Call of Duty is going to be doing that. It makes me really wish, like, back in the past, we could just go back. And, like, we could just go back to where we were on the ground shooting, which is what we're currently doing 
Nobody's boost jumping, wall running. And, like, it's just... I remember when they tried to make Call of Duty realistic. Like, that was a thing. Like, they wanted people to not be whipping nays Or not, not whipping nays. I think they're just doing regular whips. But, uh, at the end of a match. That's just... That's plain silly. That shouldn't be in the game. Or... Like, here's, here's another thing. At the... Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I ain't really got nothing else to say other than that. I just... I wish that they could... Just go back to the past. Or even better. Here's a better idea. I got an idea. We bring back... Or not back, but we come up with Call of Duty Prehistoric Warfare. Yeah. I think that that should be a thing. Since we clearly do not care about realism, we could just, you know, start adding slingshots, bows and arrows. I think that that's a super good idea. You know, our kill streaks. We'll have, like, freaking pterodactyls or something. That'd be our AC-130. Our AC-130 bringing down poop on people. That is the future of Call of Duty. I think that that is what we should be doing next. And, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um... Like I said again, this was a 30 and 7, so that is actually a little bit above average, I believe. And uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And bye.